course I do. Well, show me, because I don't feel that. No, don't touch me. Every relationship has its speed bumps, but some have potholes. For this list, we're looking at the most heated arguments between couples, family members, and other couples on 90 Day Fiancé and its spin-offs. We're basing our choices on a blend of excessive screaming, unreasonable actions, and how quickly each fight got out of hand. Number 8. Fernanda and Jonathan fight after the club. Fernanda is out clubbing with her fiancé, John, only to find him talking and possibly dancing with another woman. After questioning him, Fernanda swings out and hits a drink onto the dance floor. Though John says he was pushing the woman away, his fiancé won't listen to a word out of his mouth. Their bickering gets so loud that the authorities even drive by to check on them. Despite the fact that John is the one drinking, Fernanda appears to blow the situation out of proportion. Though that's not to say she didn't have a right to be mad, but she could have reacted a bit less dramatically, considering the circumstances. Do you want to get married with me? Of course I do. Well, show me, because I don't feel that. No, don't touch me. Get back in now! John, yeah. get back! Number 7. After Narkia finds out that her online boyfriend Loo is actually living in Vietnam instead of Alabama, she flies all the way there to see him. Though she starts warming up to her beau again, a friend that they meet up with brings up Loo's baby mama. Narkia gets mad at Loo for talking to an ex behind her back while also lying about her death. Since all he can do is get mad, Narkia loses her cool and smacks him with ice cream. She's so upset that she won't talk to producers either, but her reaction is satisfying given all the lies. With all the drama in Narkia and Lowo's relationship, this hit is as funny as it is exciting to watch. Uh, I try I mean, to get back to my baby mama. When? When we started talking and there was nothing serious. I came to Vietnam because I was suspicious when my fiance Lowo told me that his visa was delayed again. Is that why you told me she was dead? Yeah. You her ass. Wow. That's what you. Uh, yeah. Number six. Jesse threatens to call the police during a fight with Darcy. Jesse's first dinner with Darcy's children goes so badly that both adults barely touch their food. Darcy's daughter, Aniko, says both of you are acting my age, before giving a hilariously mature breakdown of the relationship issues to the producers. Things are so strained that Jesse fumes the next morning over his shoes. After Darcy allegedly throws her own footwear at him, he threatens to call the cops for assault. Though Jesse's tantrums about social media are excessive themselves, claiming a near-death experience from a heel is far too dramatic. By threatening to escalate this fight to police involvement, Jesse and Darcy leave us guessing how much more their love can endure. Oh, hell yeah. Before I call the cops. Honey, if you want to go on social media, go ahead. Come here, keep Do talking to me. Keep talking to me. Do your thing. Can you believe it at the floor? Yes, I did. He's scary as hell. Number five. Despite her terrible breakup with Mohammed, Danielle still decides to chase her ex all the way to Miami. Though she admits to traveling in hopes of winning Mohammed back, Danielle whips out her binder to scold him instead. She completely ignores his pleas and just reads out lines from her documents. When Danielle doesn't get her way, she throws her folders at Mohammed and threatens to deport him. Only the police can keep Danielle from taking things further, as Mohammed stands by looking intensely frustrated. This shouting match becomes painfully embarrassing due to Danielle's out-of-control reactions and delusional attitude. That was nice of you. I am going to guarantee I will get your ass deported because you're a f user. I don't want to listen to you. I was respectful you. and listened to you in Ohio. You can listen to me now. Take your stuff and leave. You are not welcome here. Number four, Nicole and Azan's blowout. 
Azan's fiance Nicole is visiting him in Morocco, but she can't understand why couples don't show affection in public there. Rather than respecting Azan's culture for the trip, Nicole takes it personally and gets mad at her partner instead. Though Azan tries to explain why he's so restrained, Nicole just tells him that she's not a sit and listen kind of girl. Her utter lack of compassion angers Azan enough to make him question the relationship as well. While this couple could get over our differences on parenting, Nicole's attitude is far too immature here. Azan and Nicole's fight is also frustrating to watch since both people refuse to compromise over something so simple. I'm not forcing you to kiss me in public or anything. Understand. Like, I can understand things, okay, but you cannot just stop me from everything. And I'm not gonna, like, touch you up and stuff. Number 3. Molly and Louis Go Too Far Following Molly and Lewis's season of 90 Day Fiancé, they are arguing so much that Lewis locks himself in a room to escape. With Lewis blasting music in her house, Molly has to pick a lock to get him to talk. The second he emerges, however, she's pushing him around and ramming doors. All of Lewis's passive reactions drive Molly crazy, but her violence pushes the situation further. Rather than speaking to her about their issues, Lewis threatens to call the police instead. By forcing Molly to leave her own house, Lewis lets this argument spiral out of control. Turn off the speaker, Louise. You're being extremely disrespectful. Turn off my speaker. Turn off the music. This is my speaker and nobody wants to hear this. Number two, Anfisa yells at George. Anfisa and George's marriage is falling apart and they start seeing lawyers to figure out what they should do next. George sneaks off to a lawyer alone to try and protect his own money, but Anfisa calls him before he can even talk to anyone. She screams over the phone at him for secretly leaving and demands he come back. Anfisa shrieks so loudly that George goes from sighing to giggling at how crazy she's being. The audio alone from this fight is enough to scare you, but the defeated face is haunting as well. Considering how intense Anfisa gets, this fight is over before George can even get a word in. <laughs> I am coming back now. <laughs> Number 1. Pedro and Chantel's Family Feud Despite all the judgment Pedro gets from Chantel's family, he tries to patch things up over dinner. Chantel and her relatives immediately gang up on Pedro's sister Nicole, however, who can barely defend herself in English. When Pedro tries to switch seats to help his sibling, Chantel's brother River treats him like he's going too far. River starts yelling and smacks a light, which sends Pedro and eventually the entire family into a fist fight. The brawl gets so heated that the producers have to stop everyone from drawing blood. Pedro's skirmish with Chantel's family sticks out as a whole because of all the the tears and physical blows it results in. That's all for our video today. What did you think of our list? Pretty crazy, hey? Let us know what your favorite was down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this coming all the time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.